ASNT, it's the final night. It's AS ASNT Celebrates. Before we left, we wanted to talk to Neil. He is the CEO of ASNT. So first of all, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy night to talk to us. And second of all, uh, congratulations. Congratulations on uh, three days of success. Tell me what it feels like to see it happen. Oh, thank you. It's, it's such a pleasure to be here. Um, this is the culmination of a year's worth of hard work and planning and effort. And what our job is, is to bring the community together. And what you can tell just by looking over there is that I think we've done a really good job of doing that this year. But uh, all of our efforts, this is the reward, getting to see this. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, and this is a tricky question that I ask uh, a lot of people on the ASNT board or that work at ASNT, to name one thing that they saw over the past three days that really just blew their mind. I mean, <laughs> just one? All right, just you have one. To choose one. Um, I think what blows my mind is the connectedness of the people. Um, this is a community that is very tight. They all know each other. They're very well connected. They care about each other. They work together to solve really hard problems. Um, and so when we bring them together, one of the jobs that ASCT has is we just convene the meeting. We just invite the people and we give them a forum to talk about the technical issues, the business challenges, and I'm always blown away by the engagement level that the people have that really want to be here, really want to make a connection, really want to make a difference to make a safer world. You know, this is the largest gathering of non-destructive uh, experts in the world, essentially. And you brought them all here together in Houston. You brought them together last year in Nashville. What changes year over year? What changes really is not much, honestly. Uh, the location, of course, to give people a different experience. What really it all, all is about is the, the world that is going around, uh, around us, the technologies that are advancing, artificial intelligence, machine language, robotics, those technologies used to change very slowly. Right. And what we're seeing now is the technology changes year over year over year at a much greater pace. So what we're finding is that trying to be that convening role to bring people together, understand how that technology is changing and how organizations can use the technology to their advantage. Yeah. One thing that we heard a lot of uh, here at ASNT was the word digitalization. We've been seeing that trend, uh, you know, at lots of different booths. Talk to me about how you see that, how you see that coming through the, the non-destructive industry. Well, I think that the non-destructive industry has always struggled with um, how do you field new technology um, in, in a cost-effective way, in a way that is um, uh, easily deployable across a very large and diverse population. And so what we're seeing now is the fruits of those efforts over the last 20 years are really starting to pay off. Digitalization of everything. So data gathering, where really you've seen a lot of advances is in robotics and remote sensing, where we're able to get the, 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 the measures and the metrics that we need um, from afar. And then now where the advances are going to be over the next couple of years are in the data analytics, big data projects, to be able to take all that data, turn it into meeting, and then create models for artificial intelligence so that we can become much more predictive in our measures, yeah. You know, two more questions, and they're really quick. Uh, the first question is, Gar Gara and Stacy slipped that tomorrow you guys are unveiling a new logo. What does that mean to showcase a new, a new brand identity? Uh, you know, it's top secret. <laughs> but, I mean, really what we're talking about here is staying relevant, staying current, staying fresh. Uh, ASNT has been around for 82 years, and it's really easy to get complacent, to kind of get a little um, lazy. And so what we wanted to do is we want to be relevant to that next generation. We want to be relevant to the people that are under the age of 50 and who are looking at NDT as potentially a good career field. So the logo is just a representation of the image that we're trying to project to really get us into that next century of what NDT will be for that next generation. Last question, talking about not being complacent, about wanting to do something refreshing. Talk to me about going to Vegas next year. Oh, Vegas, always one of our best shows. People just love Vegas. Um, I, what I expect is this kind of trend to continue. The high degree of engagement. A uh, lot of our exhibit hall this year had new um, companies that are just new to the industry. Innovative, entrepreneurial, really high tech stuff. I expect that trend to continue. So the exhibit hall will continue to be the place to go to do business. I also think 
that what we will continue to see is this community will grow. The biggest difference between this year and 10 years ago is the average age of the attendee. It's dramatically lower, much more fresh, um, many new entries into the field that we want to bring in, help understand what this industry is about, what the commitment is, and, uh, and we're really making good success in that. So I look to Las Vegas to take that to the next level. I'm sure it'll be a lot easier to convince younger people, especially to go to Vegas, maybe then Houston. Uh, Neil, not much else to say other than congratulations again, really, as the It's Met team, we've walked that conference floor, the exhibition hall, a bunch of times, so we really saw lots of success. Uh, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Look forward to seeing you next year.